how to turn this into fire samples like this. What's good y'all, it's your boy Alec back with another video. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make fire R&B samples for Drake's highly anticipated album, Certified Love Boy, or COB, however you wanna call it. Uh, this is also about how you can flip uh, basic vocals into really, really hard samples. If you haven't yet, make sure to go follow me on Instagram, at AlecB, and also my euphoric sample library. All right, I'm announcing it now. Got a new kit coming in a few weeks. Y'all stay tuned. This is my hardest loops by far, and this loop will actually be in, be in that kit. If you want loops from me, make sure to go get my Casablanca sample library link in the description. Um, it will. If you want 10% off, use code Alec21. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So the first sound um sounds like this. almost like a dark R&B-ish, uh, very Drake vibe and like Don Tolliver type. Um, so the melody originally, it was this. So that was the original melody. Um, that is from the Prophet V3. It's the sign pad. Just gave me a really ambient feel, so I liked it a lot. For effects on that, I added an EQ. EQ'd a lot of different frequencies because it was needed. A decimort, uh, and a decimort is just basically like a resampler. Uh, I use this in almost all my samples. It's a very good thing to make like vintage stuff. And reverb because it was kind of dry. I then exported it out and I pitched it down uh, three. And then it, I added a uh, I added a kickstart, and this is just a side chain to make like your sample sound more like Cook the Truth type. Um, and it ended up sounding like this. Same melody, but just different pitch and kickstart, and that just makes a huge difference. I added these vocals, and this these vocals are actually from the PG website. It's from Ethan Dietz Angelic uh, kit. Uh, link will be down in the description. You scored Alec twenty one for ten percent off on that. Um, the vocals sound like this. So you can see it gives a really like Drake and Rihanna type vibe, almost like it needed me by um, Rihanna. These vocals originally sounded like this. So I used, basically I used one vocal chop for this whole thing. This is all from one vocal chop and the vocal chop originally sounded like this. Uh, uh, uh. Which I know, like huge difference. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. So first, the, the most you could do out of vocal chops is a lot. First of all, what I did is I reversed the vocal chop and then I chopped it up. So I just chopped out different parts of it that I liked. So I reversed it, chopped it a bit. Then I put my uh, mixer preset on it. And what I put on my vocals, uh, this really is what makes it like sound really drakey. I had one EQ to take out uh, all the lows and then some mids and all those different unneeded frequencies. Then I get another one, take out highs. Then a decimort, which is again, a resampler, really good for vintage stuff. And a little alter boy. And I'd have the format at like 5.3. I sometimes like go a bit up, go a bit down, but this is huge. It changes the, um, it manipulates the voice to sound deeper, but it's not pitched down. It's really cool. Uh, definitely a go-to plugin for me for vocals. And I know a lot of people that use it. Uh, this is really my, what the game changed. I then added delay and I had a stereo effect. You can't see it now, but in the pre, actually, yeah, the stereo effect preset. And then I boosted up the time over here to uh, four. And that really get the delay gave it a huge feel because the delay, like it keeps falling and falling. It just like glides away. It's really cool. Then a panomatic because it goes from one to the other. Really cool. A kickstart because side chain on vocals is OP, fire. And a reverb because the vocals without reverb is nothing. Uh, originally, the vocals sounded like this. That all effects. And then with effects. Huge. 
huge difference, huge difference. The way it does a lot, uh, as you can see, the way Auto Boy does a lot as well. Because if we turn it off, let's say, turn it back on, you can see it does like it does a bit, but it does a lot really to the listener. I then added this effect, this little like bell from Nami Nami's one shot kit. It sounds like this, and it's literally just a bell reversed. Um. And I like to experiment like with reversing different stuff when it comes to these type of melodies, cause give a whole different vibe to the melody. And uh, for effects on that, I added I added a delay, also the stereo effect, a EQ, took a bunch of the mids out, and a reverb because um, it was just a cool effect that I thought I could add. Also, I forgot to add that I added these vocals at the end, um, and it's literally just these vocals, but I pitched them, I put them in different pitches. Sounds like this. And the reason I did that is because I wanted some variation, like when it closes off the melody, like, and you know it's gonna lead up to the, the new part. Yeah, I don't know, I just thought it was cool. I then added this sign one shot from Goop the Truth, one of Goop the Truth's one shot kits. Sounds like this. And really, it's kind of just following the main progression. But I kind of, um, you know, mess around with it a bit, just a bit, um, just to make it a bit, you know, like different. But it really is pretty similar, um, and it's good in like a layer. For effects on that, I added an EQ, and a, a, I added a filter freak, the half sweep, which gave it that cool effect. Um, a kickstart, the sidechain, and a reverb because it was dry. Originally sounded like this. So you can see it's a huge difference makes it very vintage uh i then added this rim because what i wanted to do is i wanted it to like almost like a percussion sound could do a big part in these drake type samples and you can hear the delay and the delay does a lot in the background um and the rim is really good like with the bass like i'll play it with the bass It's just a cool like effect. I don't know. I, don't, I love adding percussion on these type of samples. Uh, you can see it's it's a really like it does a does a minimal thing, but it's it's really simple and really um, full. And then I added a bass from the Prophet. It's called the Bottomless Pit, and it's just following the main uh, bass notes. Nothing else. That's just that's it. Um, and then I lastly added this like. I've heard the sound from Prophet, and I was like, you know what, in my heart, so I added it as almost like a counter. It's called the blush response. It's almost like a bell. I'll play for y'all just so you can understand. Really cute beats vibe, um, like almost like Travis type as well. Uh, that little like over here in the end like that it's really catchy that in the background But you can definitely feel it like when it's not there You can definitely feel that something is missing for effects on that I added um, an e one EQ to take out some of the mids another to take a bunch of the highs out all the highs actually a portal I used the rhythm switch preset portal is amazing for these type of uh, these type of loops a fruity delay uh, again stereo effect my favorite preset Looperator. This is basically just a default preset, but I just like deleted some of the stuff. I just thought the Looperator was kind of cool. And a reverb. This is originally what it sounded like. You can see the reverb and all the effects do a lot. Uh, I then exported it out and I just arranged the stems. That's literally it. Then it ended up sounding like this. That's basically the sample. Uh, this just shows you that simplicity really is key, because really in total in this I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sounds, not even, and they're all purely, they're all really minimal. Really, there's only like a couple catchy parts which makes the melody full. Uh, so yeah, it shows that you don't need much, and you guys don't need to overdo your samples. Uh, I had to learn that the hard way. 
I hope I did my samples a lot. And I realized simplicity really is key. You can do a lot with simple stuff. Um, remember, the Forex sample library coming soon. Uh, this sample and samples like this are going to be in it. Uh, I hope y'all are excited. Uh, if you haven't yet, go get my custom pocket sample library. Link in the bio. And without further ado, I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.